Hi, Erika. Hi, teacher. Good, good night. How are you? Good night. Fine. Fine. Okay. okay. Very good. Let me see. Un alumno que siempre me, se confunde, me escribe a mí y tiene de maestra a otra persona. <laughs> Y me siento que estamos haciendo lo mismo. Ah, no, no, no. It's, he, maybe he made a mistake. How are you, Francisco? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Yeah, you, you had problems yesterday with internet. Um, no. Lo que pasa es que estoy trabajando un poquito más de 13 horas. ¿Qué? Sí, eh, um, la compañía de nosotros trasladaron una farmacia, entonces teníamos un número determinado de horas para revisar el producto de, de otro eh, local que se cerró y nos han pedido de que arreglemos eso en, en, en unos días porque por el inventario. Se ha tocado pesado. De, de la mañana y ayer que vine ya este ya habían comenzado ya habían comenzado. Ah, no, pero cuando sea así, incorpore, ese no hay ningún problema. Bueno, si no está muy cansado, ¿verdad? Yo pensé que ya, ya, ya media hora de clase, ya no me servía de nada. No, 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 cuando pueda. Yo, y pues usted siempre bien, bien, bien puntual de los que nunca faltan. Bueno, los que están ahorita acá son de los que nunca faltan. Erika, Patricia, Linda, you. You are very punk. Yo a menos que tenga el problema de, de trabajo, que no. Yes, que I know. De, yes. ¿Cuál son bien responsables forma. en la plataforma y los felicito por eso. Siempre está su sí. comentario ahí, siempre, siempre su, su, su comentario. Mm -hmm. So, that is something very good. Ok, well, it is uh, eight o'clock. 8 o'clock, so we're going to begin today with a new class. Did you investigate the other idioms? Are, are idioms difficult or easy? I don't like idioms. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. But very I'm, confused. Yes, so, confused. Actually, uh, actually confused. idioms are like, Idioms are like verbs, idioms are like adjectives, idioms are like, like a lot of uh, things from the English language because you have, to, you have to memorize the vocabulary, memorizing the vocabulary. There, there is no other, no other way around, but you have to memorize the vocabulary. So we're going to begin today um, the class, all right? Okay, today we're going to do a lot of things also. Yesterday's topic and today's topic. Espero que el de ahora le guste también, because también es un poquito difícil. Well, it's not difficult. The thing is that you have to memorize things, okay? All right, so welcome to class number 14. Oh my God, I, I forgot to change this. Okay, but okay. So we're going to begin today with a little activity with idioms. <laughs> I know that maybe idioms are not, have, are not uh, easy. But what we're going to do right now is I want you to, I want you to pay attention to the, to the pictures, okay? And I want you to tell me, you're gonna, we're going to work together. I want you to tell me uh, what you can see. In the, in the idiom. For example, here, what can you see? Tell me the components you see in the picture. The eye in the apple. Oh, you see an eye and an apple. Eye and apple, okay, very good. Uh, we're gonna keep this information here because it's gonna help us for, for what we have to do. Okay, eye and apple, what about here? Break leg. Break leg. Oh, you break and leg. Okay, very good. So we're going to write break leg. Okay, break leg. 
All right. Now, the next one. The next one. What can you see here? A cloud plus cat plus dog. Cloud, dog. cat, and dog. All dog. right. So can we can we mention another thing besides cloud? The rain. Cloud. Rain. All right. Very good. Rain. Rain. Okay. So we say cloud, rain, cat, and dog. Okay. What about the next one? What can you see? Ice eat ice. Oh, you see a couple of ice eating. <laughs> so we're gonna see, you're gonna write ice eat ice food. food. Okay, very good. Ice eat and food. Okay, what about the next one? What can you see? What can you see Dough. for the next one? Dogs. Oh, you can see a dog, all right. And what else can you see in the picture? Rabbit. A rabbit. Yes. Dog happy. <laughs> a, a happy dog. Yeah. All right. Happy dog. Happy dog. A happy dog. Happy. But I want I you are you are missing something important. The two. Two, uh huh. Two. Two. I colas, no sé. Oh, how do you say how do you say colas in English? Tails. Tails. Very good. Tails. Okay. Tails. I have, you see a happy dog and two tails. Oh my Tails. God. How many how many tails do dogs have? Two. But but normal. How many tails do dogs have? Ah. One. One. one, right? Only one. But here, this, specifically this dog has two tails. Okay, we're going to see why. This dog has two tails. Okay, what about the next one? A pig with alas. Oh, a, a pig, uh -huh, a pig. Flying. <laughs> a pig flying. All right. And also we can say... A pig, a pig with wings, okay? A pig with wings, okay. Now, these idioms, these idioms, well, these idioms are related to the words that you said, and I'm gonna teach you, all right? Very good. So I'm gonna change the the color from this. All right, and we're gonna begin with this one. This one is the apple of my eye. This is the idiom, the apple yeah. of my eye. And the meaning of this idiom is someone important for you. For example, my son is the apple of my eye. You understand? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Okay. So if you say, this is the idiomatic expression, I can say, oh, my son is very, very, very important for me. Sorry. I can say, I can say that. I can say, my son is very important for me. But I also can say, my son is the apple of my eye. And it is similar. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. The next one is break leg. Por una palabra, okay? For a little break. letter. It's break, break a leg, okay? This is the idiom, break a leg. Oh my God, Erika. Eh, okay. usted sígame la corriente, right? You follow, okay. the, <laughs> you follow the, the 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 idea. Erica, you have an exam tomorrow, right? Erica. Yes. Okay, so Erica, break a leg. Okay. What's the meaning of break a leg? It's the good luck. Good luck. 
good luck. Oh. Okay, very good. So, uh, this expression, hi, Herman. This ex <laughs> good morning, good morning. Good night. Right. Okay, break a leg is an expression that is very common in the theater, in the theater, yes. okay? Yeah, for example, when a person is going to, to dance or a person is going to perform, for example, Morena Celarie uh, students or, or, or any, any person that is going to act in a theater, before they say, okay, break a leg in Spanish, rompete una pierna. So that means good luck, okay? Very good. So it's not that you are saying that to a person literal. <laughs> it's not literal. Okay, the next one. It's not literal. The next one, cloud, rain, cat, dog. I have I have used this expression with you. Rain, yes, the cats I, and dogs. They, uh -huh. I said it, I said it, right? It's raining, rain, cats, cats and dogs. And dogs, that means it's raining heavily, a lot, right? It's raining cats and dogs, okay. The next one, the next one we have eyes and food. So what's the meaning of that? Eyes and food, eyes, food. What will be, what will be that, that idiom? Can you tell me? No idea? I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, um, I'm going to tell you, do you remember the movie Dirty Dancing? And I had the time of my life. No? She's like the wind to my tears. There is a song that is called like this. Hum. Yes. No? Okay, I'm gonna tell you the idiom. The idiom is hungry eyes, all right? Hungry eyes, that's the meaning of, of the idiom. And, and what's the meaning? What's the meaning of hungry eyes? <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> The meaning of hungry eyes is, I'm going to tell you, sorry, I'm going to tell you. Yes, that is the expression. Yeah, that is the expression. Yeah, it says, I'm going to tell you, say, to put it simply, hungry eyes mean to look at things the way you look at your favorite food when you are starving, right? It's like, for example, if you look at very delicious chocolate and you are like, mm. <laughs> so that is the meaning of hungry eyes. Yeah, maybe you can say, oh my God, he was looking at me with hungry eyes. Okay, you can say that. <laughs> All right, the next one. The next one is, I feel, se los voy a dar en contexto de una vez. I feel like a dog with two, tails. I feel like a dog with two tails. That means I feel very, 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 very happy. Clear? Yes. Yeah, so when you say I feel like a dog with two tails, I feel very extra happy. Have you seen, have you seen dogs when they are happy? They move the tail, but when they are very happy, <laughs> they are like, they move all the body and they jump. So that is like a dog with two tails. And the last one, the last one, a pig flying, a pig with wings. Wait, this is an expression. This is an expression. For example, imagine, imagine uh, Linda. Linda, do you have a boyfriend? Sorry. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, um, okay, yeah, pre pretendants, pretendants, yes. all right. <laughs> imagine, imagine, Linda, one of your pretendants is ugly. You don't like him. And okay. imagine is, his name is uh, Francisco, imagine. 
So okay. Francisco tell, tells you, hey, Linda, yo quiero salir con usted. I want to go out with you. <laughs> in movies. And I want to give you a kiss. Y viene usted y le responde, ha, when pigs fly. <laughs> when pigs fly. That means not in your dreams, honey. <laughs> in your dreams. So that is when pigs fly. Yeah? Okay. Exactly. So imagine if you go to the to, to the office of, of to the office of your of your boss or no no no. Or for example, I'm gonna give another example. A, a, a mother and a son. Mommy, I am 18 years old now. Look at me, I am an adult. So can you please, can you please buy a car for me? Because I need a car. And what is the answer of the mother? Yeah. Yes. When a pig fly. <laughs> yeah, when pigs. When, when pigs, pigs fly. That means never, not in your dreams. Don't even think about it. Is it clear? Yes. Yes, very good. Okay, so we're going to make a little review. Vamos a hacer un repaso. And after that, I'm going to ask you questions. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Okay. So, this one is the apple of my eye. What's the meaning of the apple of my eye? The most important. Yes, the most important person for you. Break a leg. Good clue. Good luck. Good luck. Very good. It's raining cats and dogs. Raining a, raining a lot. Raining a lot. Very good. It's raining a lot. What about hungry eyes? Mm -hmm. Not with my hungry eyes. Hungry eyes. <laughs> yeah, hungry eyes are hungry eyes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe you can say when you look at something, when you look at something with desire, con deseo. Lo voy a escribir acá. When you look, when you look at something with desire. When you look at something with desire. Okay, hungry eyes. When you look at something with desire. Okay, very good. What about the next one? A happy, well, I feel like a dog with two tails. What's the meaning of that? Very happy. Very, very happy. happy. Very extra, happy. Extra, extra happy. What about when pigs fly? In your dreams. In your dream. Very good. In <laughs> yes. your dream. Yes. Okay. Very good. Now, I'm going to erase, I'm going to erase this information. Le tomaron foto. I'm sorry. Did you take a picture? Yes. No. No. Oh. No. Okay. Give me a second. Give me a second. Yes. So, so this is going to yes. be nice. The apple of my eye. Okay, take a take a picture in case you, you want them. All right, go ahead. You have the picture? Yes. Very good. So I'm gonna erase, okay, because now we're gonna do a little activity. All right. The activity is gonna be in, in groups. I mean uh, all the group together. The next activity is gonna be in pairs. Oh, I'm missing a little boy. Okay. So, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you the meaning and you are going to tell me the idiom. Okay? Very good. Extra happy? What is I feel a dog with two tails. Yeah, I feel like a dog. With two tails. Very good. I feel like a dog with two tails. Um, it's raining a lot. It's raining cats and dogs. Very raining good. Dogs. It's raining cats and dogs. Let me see. Uh, 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 um, the next one is, you are very important for me. 
Patty, can you help me? Yes. Um, the apple of my eye. Very good. The apple of my eye. Just remember the, the apple. Herman, um, good luck. Uh, break a leg. Very good. Break a leg. And let me see, Francisco. Never. Don't think about it. No. Pigs fly. Excellent. Very good. When pigs fly. Perfect. Very good. Okay. Now, uh, well, this was a little bit with idioms, right? Idioms are very, very nice. They are very funny. They are difficult sometimes because you have to memorize, but it is not impossible. Okay, now the next activity is this. This, I need you to take a picture. Take a picture. Because right now we're gonna match, match the expressions. We have here some express, some, some verbs. These are verbs, but they are special verbs. For example, verbs, eat, go, eat, drink. Okay, these are verbs too, but they are very special. Esto es lo que vamos a estudiar ahora, all right? Esta clase de verbos. But first, I want you to do this activity. I want you to look at the verb, and I want you to match the verb, this verb, with the, with the meaning, okay? With the possible meaning, all right? So for example, we have get up, come in, Hold on, stand up, wake up, get along, turn on, turn off, take off, and break up. Some of them are familiar. Maybe others are not familiar, but I want you to make an effort, all right? To match the expression with the possible meaning. Do you have the picture? Picture number 10, I don't see. You don't see number 10? No. Okay, give me a second. Give me a second. To fix it. Okay, can you please take a picture? Look at it, Evit. Can you look at it now? Yes. Okay, very good. Now you have the picture, everybody? Yes. Cool, very good. All right. So remember, try to match the verb with the possible meaning. Okay? So let me see how many students I have. I have 11 students. Oh my God. All right, so we're gonna go and we're gonna work in pairs. Remember, your practice has to be in, in, in English. I'm gonna have a, a group of three. Oh, someone has, someone has joined right now. Okay, so we're gonna work in groups of three. In groups, in pairs, in pairs. So let's go to the rooms and let's do this exercise. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. For yes. me, is the letter A, F, F, F. raised from bell. Raised from bell. What means raised? Raised, levantarse. Ah, okay. Yes, it's correct. For me. And number two. Come in.
Um, maybe to, to enter in place. In place. Eight. Eight. Number two, letter H. Yes. yes. Number three, hold on. Um, For me, it's wait. Yes, wait. Number four, stand up. Con cual correspondí. Hi, lady. Uh -huh. Hello, Hi, good night. Hi, good night. Uh, do you understand the exercise? Uh, ah, okay, okay. What we're gonna do is this. You have here 10, 10 special verbs. Esos son los que vamos a estudiar ahora. Uh, but they are 10 special verbs. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to match the verbs with the possible meanings. For example, uh, we have uh, to enter in a place, letter H. Which do you think is the verb? Break up, take off, turn off, turn on, get along, wake up, stand up, hold on, come in, or get up. Which one? Uh, hold on. Mm, what does no. it mean, hold on? Ah, okay. If I tell you, I'm going to give you the answer. <laughs> okay, but hold on is like I'm gonna I'm gonna give you one example. I'm gonna give you one example with hands. Uh, teacher, come here. Teacher, come here. Hold on. Okay, hold on. What's the meaning of hold on? Hold on. Exactly. So from here, de esto significado, ¿cuál es la letra? Which one is the the letter? So number three, hold on, is num is letter I. Wait. Mm -hmm. So what we have to do is to match the the verb with the meaning. Is it clear? So so. Uh -huh. Right now, don't worry, porque no he explicado así como que a lot from this. This is just an activity for, for you to uh, wake up a little bit. Okay? Okay. okay. All right. For example, um, get up. For one, get up. What is the possible meaning? To finish a relationship? To have good relationships? To open your eyes? Remove, make something start working, levantarse, raise from your bed, make something stop working, enter in a place, wait, or raise from your seat. Which one is the meaning for get up? To open your eyes. Uh, that will be el wake up. Mm -hmm. When you wake up, you open your eyes. Yeah. So number five, letter C. Oh, a race from bed will be which number? The action that you do in the morning when you race from your bed. Number eight. Number. Okay, so the letter is letter letter F. And what is the number? Oh, raise, raise for, from bed. Uh huh. So which is which is the which is the verb? Hmm. I don't have the controls here to show you with the with the with the pointer. But you get, say get a, get a very good. Yes, yes, very good. So number one is letter F. Mm -hmm. So that's what you have to do with the with the other verbs. Is it clear? Mm -hmm. yes. At the beginning, sí. it's a little a little difficult. Ahorita solo lo estoy All right, we are trying. Yo creo que ya se nos va a acabar el tiempo, pero le voy a dar más. But uh, right now we are just um, trying. 
ya más, ya después yo les explico cómo son, pero ahorita es como estamos, we are like, um, predicting, we, we have to predict first. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you more time because we have only 25, 25 seconds. Give me a second. I'm going to close the rooms and I'm going to give you more time. But now, is it clear? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. Give me a second. Okay, everybody, I'm going to, I'm going to give you more time. You didn't finish, right? Okay, I'm going to give you more. I finish. Don't worry, I'm going to give you more time. So if you pay attention, phrasal verbs, phrasal verbs are similar to idioms. Yes or no? It's more easy. Uh, yeah, they, they are they are kind they are kind of they are easier. Okay, I'm gonna give you five minutes more so you can work with this. Bye bye everybody again. Turn off it, take off. Make something stop working. Turn off sería esa la ocho con la G. English. Hi. <laughs> yeah, give me a second. Who is Uy? Uy, 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 uy. From Per. Victor with with this group. Ya 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 vio. Ya vio esa. Esa romper. <laughs> La 10, dice usted. Sorry. Uh -huh. Break up. Break up. Yeah, uh -huh. but break up is uh, between two people. Victor, please take a picture. Take a picture of, of this. Hello, Victor. Yeah, Victor is there. You have the picture, Victor? Me, uh, permítame. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Ok. Sorry. Ok, so now remember, uh, Victor, what we are doing is this. We have here 10 special verbs, but they are very, very common verbs. So what, some of them, all right, what we're going to do is we're going to match the verb with the possible meaning. For example, Ruth and Raquel, Abigail, for you, which one is number one? Get up. Get up is levantarse. Uh, yes, but what is the letter? What is the meaning? F. The F. Uh, F. F. <laughs> the F. Raised F from bed. Victor, yes. Yeah. So number one is letter F. Raised from bed. Okay, very good. So what about number two? Come in. What is the meaning for number two? Come in is... H. Yes, very good, Abby. Very good. Come in to enter in a place. And that is what you mm -hmm. have to do the others, okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, continue, continue. You have... Okay, yeah, be. Uh, um, letter. 
make something and start working, but I don't know. Get along. Get along. Get along. I confused. <laughs> to enter in play. What? I confused. <laughs> With which one, Erica? With the get along is for me. Yeah. It's a <clears throat> make something and start working. No. Maybe. No. Okay, we're, go we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it together. This, remember, if you have mistakes, don't worry. Okay, we're gonna go back. Okay. Okay, everybody. I have a question. Is this easy or difficult? Or me, a little bit difficult. A little bit, all right, very good. Yes, I know, maybe right now it's, it's difficult because you, you don't know, but after the class, it's not going to be difficult, al menos, at least these verbs, because you will know. Okay, so we're gonna begin. Remember, I the, the instruction of the exercise was, match the expression with the possible meaning. All right, very good. So let's begin with the first one, get up. Okay, first we have these verbs. Okay, these are maybe, believe me or not, they are common verbs. These verbs are in everyday life, okay? Now, for example, get up. What's the possible meaning for get up? F. Letter? F. F. Get up, raise from bed. From bed. Very good, raise from bed. So number one is letter F, raise from bed, okay? It is when you raise from your bed in the morning, this action, get up the most difficult part of the of the morning yes or no yes yes yeah uh, in my case my bed hugs me root don't go come here <laughs> <laughs> yes and i think patty and and all of you that work is very difficult for you to 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 get up what about coming H. 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 Come in is to enter in a place. Very good. For example, my dear students, what is more common to listen? A, please enter or yes, come in. What is, what is more, more common? Come in. Yeah. Come in. We, people never say enter. You say come in. Okay, the next one is hold on. What do you think the meaning of hold on is? Wait. 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 Yeah, very good. Thank you for calling. I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna, this is my cell phone, all right? De los viejitos porque es grueso. Uh, hello, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you for calling, thank you for calling to Mm, Boquitas Diana Company. How can I help you? Yes, I would like to speak to Miss Patricia Alvarenga. Ah, okay. Hold on a moment, please. Hold on. All right? Wait. Yeah. Number four is stand up. What is the meaning of stand up? Letter J. Mm hmm Stand up is letter J. Raise from your seat. Raise from your seat. Si yo les dijera ahorita, if I told you right now, everybody stand up, that's the action you do. You stand up. Okay, very good. Stand up. Number five, wake up. 
Letter, letter C. C. Letter, letter C. C. Very good. To open your eyes. Okay? When you wake up, you open your eyes. So, for example, for example, when you are describing a daily routine, what is more common to say? I open my eyes at 5 a.m. in the morning, or you say, I wake up at 5 a.m. in 5 a.m. in the morning. What is the most common? Wake, wake up. up. Yes, wake up. you never say, I open my eyes in the morning. You say, I wake up at, and you say the time. Is it clear? The next one. Maybe the next one is new, but it is very common. Get along. What do you think the meaning of get along is? Maybe to let it be. Let it be. Okay. To Victor good says letter B. Linda says letter B. Herman. Letter B. And it is letter B. <laughs> It is letter B. So get along is to have good relationships. In Spanish will be llevarse bien. All right, that is in Spanish. So how do you say, for example, Herman, eh, yo me llevo bien con mi esposa. How do you say that in English? I get along with my wife. Perfect. Very good. True or false? Ah, come on, don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> don't say it. All right. Very good. Now, number seven. Turn on. What's the meaning of turn on? T. Letter E. Abby says letter D. D. E. Linda letter says. Letter E. Ah, letter E. 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 D. D. Yay! Turn on. Make something start working. Make something start working. For example, hey, uh, Edgar, can you turn on the computer, please? Can you turn on the lights? Can you turn on the air conditioner? What do you think? ¿Qué se oye mejor? What do you think sounds better? Edgar, can you make the air conditioner start working? Edgar, can you turn on the AC? What is more what is more common? Turn on. Exactly. Turn on AC. Very good. What about number eight? Turn off. Turn yeah. G. Yeah. Letter G. Yeah. That is the yeah. opposite. Make something stop working. Hey, turn off the TV. Ah, there, ah, so much noise. No, no, no. Tur turn off the TV. Turn off the TV. Turn off the music. Turn off the AC. Turn off the etc. Clear? Yes. Yay. Very good. Clear, 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 clear like water. Number nine. Take off. Ready. Ready. Yeah. Take off is remove. Tiene otro significado también. It has another meaning. Pero nos quedamos con este in this moment. We are going to keep this one. Take off is remove. Okay? For example, eh, I'm going to, let me see. Who's going to be my, my, Erika is going to be my, my guinea pig. Guinea pig is going to heal the Indians. Erika is going to be my guinea pig. Erika, can you please take off your glasses? Take off your glasses. Take take off your glasses. Excellent. Very good. Can you put on your glasses, please? I don't see Erica anymore. Oh my God. Eh, yes, yeah, she's there. Okay. Is it clear, everybody? Yeah? Yes. Hey, eh, ¿Cómo le dirían a alguien? Mira, no te quites los zapatos. How do you say that in English? Hey, go to choose. Huh? No te los quites. Don't take off your shoes. Excellent. Imperative. Remember the imperatives. Don't 
take off your shoes, your shoes, because your you have a stinky feet. <laughs> For example. All right, very good. Okay, so don't take off your shoes. And the last one, the last one is number 10, break up. What's the meaning of break up? Letter A. a. Letter A. a. Letter a. a. Finish a relationship. That means uh, in Spanish we call it Cortamos. <laughs> Cortamos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, <laughs> very good. Hey, what happened, um, uh, Linda? What happened to Chabelo? I don't see Chabelo anymore with you. And Linda says, I teach. We? We break up. Uh huh. But Let's break, up, we break up is the, the present. What is the past? I broke up. Exactly. I broke up. We broke up. We broke up. This is the past. We broke up. Hey, Edgar. And I remember, Edgar, I saw you with a beautiful girl. And what happened with the beautiful girl, Edgar? No. <laughs> she says no. no. Hi, Edgar. What happened to the beautiful girl, your girlfriend. ¿Qué pasó con su novia? Imagínese, síganme la corriente. Y me contesta él. <laughs> Edgar, what happened to, to your girlfriend? No sé qué quiere decir eso. We broke, we broke mm. up. Terminamos. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> ok, tell me. It's only an example. We we broke up. Broke, broke up. Oh my God. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Is this clear, everybody? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Now we're going to go to the next activity. All right. We're going to go to the next activity. And the next activity is this. Oh, give me a second. Okay. Now, we're going to practice some questions, okay? We're going to practice some questions, some conversation questions. Take a picture, please. Hoy vamos a poner en práctica los verbos en preguntas. But the questions are very easy because if you pay attention, the questions are with do you. So the answer is yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay. Number one, do you get along with your family? Number two, do you get up early? Number three, do you take off your shoes when you get home? Number four, do you stand up when you feel pain? I pain on your back. Number five, do you turn off the computer after you use it? Number six, do you turn on the lights in the morning? Number seven. Do you sit down? Aquí hay un error. It's on. Sorry. On the floor. Do you sit down on the floor? On the floor. Number eight. Do you break up relationships easily? Si si termina relaciones fácil. All right. Do you break up relationships easily? Or you invent. You say yes or no. Do you come into a stranger, strange places? Do you come in to a strange places? The meaning of this question is, si usted entra a lugares raros. Do you come in to a strange places? And question number 10 is, do you wake up early or late? So the answer for these questions are gonna be, yes, I do or no, I don't. Do you have the picture? Yes. yes. Very good. So we're going to practice these questions. Uh, ask and answer. Okay? Ask and answer. Very good. If you have a question, you can, you can call me. I'm going to recreate the rooms. I'm going to have a group of three, and the group of three is going to be Edgar, Ivit, and Juliana Araceli. 
Okay, I'm gonna give you some some minutes because it is not difficult. Bye bye, everybody. Go and practice your questions. Why? Okay, number two. Metro, did you get get out? Did you get get out early? Get out. Okay. Levantarse. Meaning in Spanish. Yes. Oh. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <For> god, me. <laughs> Victor. <laughs> yes, it's a very very difficult. I it's a difficult maybe... thing for you. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, for me too. Sí. Okay, continue. Okay. Okay. Would you turn off the computer after you use it? You use it. Yes, I turn off the computer. Ah, do you turn off the computer after you use it? Ah, use after. It? after <laughs> no, they will you use it. Ah, no. Yes, it's turn off, but after the use it. Ah, es como que esté apagada antes de que yo la use. No, si la apaga después que la usa. Que la usa. Ah, yes. Yeah, turn yes. off the computer after you use it. Okay. Okay. Yes. Do you turn on the lights in the morning? Okay. okay. Do you get up? Do you get up? No. Do you get along with your family? Yes, I do. Do you get up early? Oh, yes, I know what it significa. <laughs> do you do get you... up early? Is si se levanta temprano? Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, I do. Okay. Do you get up early? Yes, I do, right? Do you take off your shoes when you get home? Mm, zapatos, zapatos. Mm, esa no lo entiendo, zapatos, ¿qué? Okay. Which one? Si se quita los zapatos, quita. do you take off your shoes when you get home? Cuando llega a su casa. Exactly. Uh -huh. Yes, Take I do. Take off your shoes. Yes, yes I, I do. do, right? Yes, very good. Yes, I do. Do you stand up with you? Um, no, I, I don't turn off the light. Do you sit down on the floor? Yes, I don't sit down. On your the cats. Floor. Sorry. Patty, is it raining Mana? in your house? Is it raining yes. in your house? Yes, raining. Cats and dogs? <laughs> no, no more. No, no. <laughs> little, 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 little. Little rain, okay, okay. <laughs> continue, continue, go ahead. Okay. Do you sit down off the floor? Do you get up early? Yes, I do. Do you get up early? Yes, I do for my work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you take off your shoes when you get home? Yes, I do. Did, did you finish asking the questions? Yes. 
Yes, teacher. All right, very good. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna go to the next thing and we're gonna go to our our manuals, right? Now here in this conversation, we have uh, some some phrasal verbs if you pay attention here. I sorry, 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 sorry. Before I have to show you something, I forgot. Okay. Okay. First, we're gonna practice the pronunciation of some verbs that are in the conversation, all right? And maybe they can be difficult, but I'm gonna show you the, 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 the pronunciation. This one is tighten, tighten up. Tighten up. The tighten, tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten is like this. Look, look, look at it. Tighten. Tighten. Up. Yeah, very good. Up. Tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. Yeah, tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. Teacher. Yes, Abby? Pronunciation T or S? Tighten or tighten up? No, no, no. That, that, the repeat, repeat, Abby. Tighten up. Yeah, that's the correct pronunciation. Okay. Very good. The next one is switch off. Switch off. Yeah, switch off. switch off. Después vamos a ver los significados. Ah. Later we're going to see the meaning. Switch off. Clean up. Clean up. Call Clean off. Uh, call off. Or we can say call off. Call off. Call off. Turn off. Turn off. Seize. Seize. Seize up. Is that, is so if you pay attention here, what we do is this. Tighten up. Switch off. Switch off. Clean up. Call off. Turn off. Zizz up. We don't separate the pronunciation. It is tighten up, switch off, clean up, call off, turn off, seize up. No, tighten up. Switch off we don't separate it we join is it clear yes yeah we join the pronunciation of the verbs okay very good so i'm gonna okay voy a pasar lista primero porque i don't want any gosh, i don't want any interruptions okay so please to to remember that to check the attendance i need you to turn on your camera thank you very much Ruth Patricia Zuniga Alvarenga? Presente. She's here. <laughs> Do you remember? We, we used to say, but it, uh, okay, no, forget it. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Ruth Patricia, okay. Uh, Abel Edemilson Salazar Melara? Present. Okay, very good. Saida uh, um, Janet Perez Rodriguez? Present. Ah, she's there. Uh, Saida, thank you very much. Alexandra Rivera Rodriguez? Present. She's there. Victor Palacio Reyes? Present. Okay. Claudia Lorena Funes Jovel? Oh, she's not here yet. Grecia Ivonne Mejia Ayala? She's not here. Sandy oh. Stephanie Pais Orellana? Present. Okay. Germán Agustín Ramos Villeda. Present. Jessica del Carmen Mengíbar. She has never been in one class. Juliana Araceli Ramos Rosales. Present. Okay. And, and uh, don't worry, Juliana, because you already told me the reason why you have the camera off. Kilsi Gifredo Norberto Cerón Valle. No. Edgar Manuel Bonilla Franco. Present. Jose Nelson Gustavo Pinel. No here today. Raquel Abigail Cigarán Murcia. Present. Okay. Carmen Irene Navidad Campos. Carmen Irene has an emergency with, with her father. Alinda Xiomara Tabora Portillo. Present. Okay. Uh, Erika Elizabeth Salmerón. Present. 
Reina Present. de la Paz Villatoro de Álvarez. Present. Isis Álvarez. Francisco Edgardo Pérez Guzmán. Present. Hey, he's here today. Okay, excellent. We're going to continue. Now, I'm going to show you a conversation. All right, and the conversation is here. Ah, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to practice in pair. Remember that this is good for your pronunciation. Okay. So here, I'm going to, I'm going to point, I'm going to point the verb and I want you to pronounce it, please. How do you pronounce this? Kindness. How do you pronounce it? Tighten up. Tighten up. Very good. Tighten up. What about this one? Tighten up. Clean up. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. What about this one? Clean up. Switch off. Very good. Remember, don't separate them. Okay. What about this one? Collab. 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 Very good. Collab. What about this? Turn off. Oh, no. No. Okay, what about this one? Size. Size. Size up. All right. Size up. Okay. Size up. Now. Size up. Size up. Size up. Now, please uh, take a picture because we're going to practice the pronunciation. But this time, I want you to do it. I want you to do something. Uh, this time, esta vez, quiero que lo lea lo más rápido que pueda, ¿ok? Aunque se equivoque. It doesn't matter if you make mistakes. For example, Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Screw. Oh. Tornillo. Screw. ¿Ok? Yes, trate de hacerlo lo más rápido que pueda, no importa. It doesn't matter if you make mistakes. Tom, I need your help. Can you please pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Toma, here you go. Ah, oh, thanks a lot. Look, did Kit clean up the room before he left? Okay. Escucha que hago alguna pausa. No, right? Listen. Thanks. Aquí obviamente hay un punto. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kit clean up the room before he left? Right? We don't say, did Kit clean up the room before he left? In English, you have to join. Join. Okay? So, eso es lo que vamos a tratar de hacer. That's what we're going to try to do. You're going to read as fast as you can. Okay, so I'm going to stop the chair. I listen to some babies over there. Okay, so let me see. Sorry. We're going to um, we're gonna see how many students I have. Oh, I have perfect. I have the perfect number to practice in pairs. Okay. You finished the conversation? Repeat again. Repeat again, but I need you to read as fast as you can. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye to the room. Okay. Dating up this crew. Excellent, Patty. Que bien le salió lo último. That's okay, continue. <laughs> sure. Here you go. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kid clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off 
the power. Great. By the oh, way. Great. The, great. By the way, did you call up call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop the turning up the room before he left. Yes, he did. I know he did the call because and I asked him to shut off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it's, it will this up eventually. That's correct. Linda, okay. excuse me. Um, and the day, donde dice great be the way, did oh. you? Oh, great. By the way. By the way. By the way. Mm -hmm. The meaning of it, that is, por cierto. Uh, y después de electricia, the engine. Engine. Perdón. Engine. Engine. Yeah, engine. Engine. Engine doesn't stop to turn off, and now we have a problem. Okay. So you say, yeah, I think that if you don't oil it, oil it, oil it, we make a join over there. I think that if you, don't, if you don't oil it regularly, it will seize up eventually. Okay. Okay, let me see. Uh, Linda, can you do me a favor? Can you read this as fast as you can? As fast as you can. Thanks a lot. Luke did keep cleaning up the room before he left. Excellent. But remember, this is a question, okay? I know he did because I accept. Thanks oh. a lot. Look, did Kit clean up the room before he left? Excellent, very good. Abby, all right, can you please read this as fast as you can? Uh, what? This. Ah, okay. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kit clean the room before he left? Okay, clean up. Clean up. Yeah, okay. Repeat, Abby, this one. Thanks a lot. Look, did he clean up the room before he left? Eh, hey, Abby, very good. Yo la noto que está perdiendo más el miedo, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, un poquito. Yo sé, lo he notado. I have noticed. And congratulations for that. Don't worry, don't worry. And I'm sorry because I, uh, when you sent me the invitation, I was with, uh, with uh, Jose Nelson Pineda. Mm -hmm. So sorry if I didn't accept. Okay, everybody, easy or difficult? Yes. Me so. So. Yes. So. So. <laughs> okay, now I want, I want to show you something. Okay, I wanna show you something and it is here. Okay, now, um, well, do you remember yesterday we learned uh, the idiom calling sick. Do you remember? What's the meaning of calling sick? Yesterday we learned that, that phrasal verb. Do you remember Reason. what the meaning of calling sick is? Reason. Sorry? You don't know? Ayer lo estudiamos. Yesterday we studied this. About, 
okay. The, the meaning is uh, to, to report to report that you are sick in the office, right? Yeah, so for example, uh, I'm gonna make this bigger. This article is very interesting. Uh, in the book, we have the, if you want to practice a reading, if you want to practice reading, uh, in the book, we have the, the link for this. Or if not, I can send you the link, okay? I'm gonna send you the link because in the manual we have it. This is something very interesting. It says, reasons to call in sick. Why people get a, a report sick in the office? So it says, when you wake up with an upset stomach, do you know the meaning of upset stomach? Do you know, upset? The stomach? Exactly, very good. Yeah, when you wake up with an upset stomach or a stuffy nose, when you wake up with an upset stomach or a stuffy nose, this is the meaning of stuffy nose, all right? Is it clear? Yes, yes, yes. Stuffy nose. Are you someone who thinks, oh no, I don't want to call in sick? <laughs> Maybe you are one of those people who feel that, okay? Maybe you are one of the people, of the persons, all right, that you don't like to get sick. So, good reasons, five good reasons to call in sick. So these are five good reasons. So why you have to report yourself sick and not going to your work, all right? Sometimes we have people that are workaholic. Do you know the meaning of this verb, workaholic? Sorry, do you know the meaning of this word, workaholic? Do you know the meaning of this? And when the people have very uh, hard, uh, word, moist word, yeah, when when it's people addiction. Work, yeah, when people are addicted to work. Yeah. Actually, actually, uh, everybody, this this word holic, this holic, holic, the word holic, yeah. the meaning of that is to have an addiction. For example, alcoholic. The person is addicted to what? Uh, Alcoholic. Alcohol. 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 Agüita loca, Alcohol. right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. People are addicted to agüita loca. Or what about chocoholic? The person is addicted to what? The candies. The chocolate. 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 What chocolate. about chocolate. what about movie holic? A person addicted to the movies. And what about workaholic? A person is addicted at the work. A person addicted to work. Very good. Now, um, let's continue. Let's continue. Okay. Uh, so, what are good? What are five good reasons to call in six? Can you read the first one, Linda, please? This, this, these letters. You have an illness that might be contagious. 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 Yes. Contagious. Can, can you tell me, can you tell, can you tell me some illnesses that are contagious? Coronavirus, right? Yes. Coronavirus. Yeah. So if you have coronavirus, are you going to go to the office? No. No, another another illness that is contagious. Can you think about one illness that is contagious? The flu. The flu. Oh. Yeah, you are. Too, and and your and your partners are like. <sighs> okay. Yes. Another. The. <coughs> Sorry. I, I have a question. I have a, I have a question, everybody. Diarrhea is contagious. No. 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 Diarrhea is not contagious. No. That is not contagious. All right. Maybe Very good. the office eat uh, food contaminate. Uh -huh. ah, imagine, imagine uh -huh. all the imagine all the co-workers have food poisoning. Uh -huh. yes. yes. Yeah, that will be terrible, right? Very good. Well, but diarrhea, 
diarrhea or a stomach virus, that is not contagious. But for example, the flu, all right? Or for example, conjunctivitis. Yes. That is very, very, very contagious. So reason number one, you have a, an illness that is contagious. So that is one reason to call in sick, to call in sick. Okay. Um, what about number two? Um, Raquel, Abigail, number two. You have a fever. Fever. The next one? You have a rash. A rash. Do you know the meaning of rash? Yes. Um, allergy. Allergy. Yes. Yeah. An allergy. For example, for ex do you remember chikung chikungun? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. People had a rash and they were uh, scratching. Can you continue, Abby? Please. You are in significant. Uh, no sé cómo se oh, oh, significant. Significant pain. Very good. You are in significant pain. I know. Do you think it's comodo, comfortable to be working with pain? No. For example, headaches, injuries, heridas. Okay. Sprains, sprains are like torceduras, right? Sprains. Broken bones and other problems that can cause you significant pain. So if you are in significant pain, that is one good reason to call in sick. All right, very good. Um, continue, Abby, please. You have a common cold. Okay, very good. If you have a cold, that is that is good. It depends on the on the on the on the symptoms you have. Now, now look at this one. This one was very funny. Five bad excuses, excuses to taking uh -huh. a sick day. I know today I don't want to go to work, I know. So I'm gonna invent an excuse. Let's see, what are the common excuses? <laughs> Number one, uh, let me see who's gonna help me. Uh, it's gonna help me. Ooh. Oh my God, what did I do? Okay, let me see who's gonna help me. It's gonna help me. Let me see who's gonna be my victim. Sandy, all right, Sandy's gonna be my, my victim. Can you read the first one, Sandy, please? previous engagement engagement a previous engagement. engagement very good yes very good so this is this is one another one a uh, beach day a beach day hey i don't want to work today i'm gonna call my boss and i'm gonna tell him hey boss i have diarrhea and you go to the beach and someone takes a picture and you appear in the picture that is something terrible. The next one, Sandy? A uh, job interview. A job interview, very good. The next one? You are tired. You are tired, very good. You are tired. And the last one? Religious observance. Religious observance, yeah. There are some people that say, look, uh, I have a, a meeting with my religion, so I'm not gonna go. Right, very good. So if you want to read, if you want to read this article uh, slowly, si lo quieren leer detenidamente, if you want to read it slowly, I will send the, the link, okay? I will send the, the link, all right. Now we're gonna go to, uh, I will explain something to you in a moment, but let me see, I'm gonna move to the next page. I'm gonna move to the next page. But I will go to, I will go to my PowerPoint presentation. Now, please pay attention, everybody, because the next information is very important. Uh, read an article, new vocabulary. Okay. Now, 
Okay, here, what we're gonna study today are phrasal verbs. That is what we're gonna study today. Phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs. So, what are phrasal verbs? The verbs that we were studying at the beginning, for example, turn on, turn off, long, come in, take off, etc. They are phrasal verbs. But what are the phrasal verbs? Well, a phrasal verb is a verb, okay? A phrasal verb is a verb plus a preposition or an adverb, which creates a meaning different from the original verb, okay? So, a phrasal verb is this. For example, what is the meaning of come, everybody? In Spanish, you can tell me in Spanish, no problem. What's the meaning of come in Spanish? Llegar o venir. Venir, okay. Now, I'm gonna add, le voy a agregar, I'm gonna add a preposition. The preposition is gonna be in. Now, if I say come in, Estoy diciendo llegar, o what am I saying? Ven. Llegando. Mm -hmm. If I say come in, what am I saying? Come in, ven, venir. O sea. Exactly. Eh, so, eh, de los verbos que vimos anteriormente, ¿cuál sería el significado? What would be the meaning? Is entrar. Sorry? Enter. Enter. Thank you, Victor. Enter. So, if we say, sorry, if we say come, the meaning of come is approach, eh, venir o acercarse. But if I say come and I make a combination, and I make a combination of a normal verb and a preposition, I have a new verb. And if I say come in, I say enter. Is it clear? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna give you another example. I'm gonna give you another example. Turn. What's the meaning of turn? Like a normal verb. What's the meaning of turn? In Spanish, will be like voltear, right? Yes or no? Okay. But what about if I make a combination of turn plus the preposition on? What's the meaning? Como, for me, it's como encender o... Encender. All right. Good. I will write it in Spanish, but do you remember? Do you remember the meaning in English? What's the meaning of in, in English of turn on? What's the meaning in English of turn on? Do you remember? Okay. We're gonna we're gonna go. We're gonna go back. So you can remember a little bit. Mm -hmm. Turn on. Do you remember? Turn on. It's a make. Uh, I make something start. Very good, very good, Victor. Make something okay. start working. working. That is the yeah. meaning of turn on. Okay, in English. Now here they are giving us another example. For example. I ran, oh, como son verbos, they are verbs. Eh, si yo quiero escribirlo en pasado, if I want to write this in past, I change the verb in past. For example, I ran into the Pope. Pope is, is him, right? No potato. It's not the potato. It's the Pope. <laughs> Okay, now I ran into the Pope at the Vatican last week. Now, the normal verb run, what's the meaning of, of run? 
Correr. Correr. But if I make a combination of run and into, I have a new meaning and it's meet, encontrar. So here it says, yo me encontré. I ran into the Pope at the Vatican last week. Now, imagine, imagine, uh, Francisco, you, um, you have a friend that you haven't seen for a long time. ¿Tiene algún amigo que no haya visto en años? Do you have a friend that you haven't seen in a long time? Yes. Yes. Uh, what's his name or her name? Uh, his name is uh, uh, Steven. Uh, Steven, all right. Now, imagine next week, Francisco, you tell me, teacher, I ran into Steven at Multiplaza last week. Okay? What are you saying here, Francisco? What are you saying here in Spanish? Excellent. Very good. So you say, I ran into Steven at Multiplaza last week. Okay? Is it clear? Yes. Yeah. Now we have another one. We have the run, but we have away. Now we don't say run into, we say run away. The meaning of run away is leave home, escapar. Okay? So, uh, if you pay attention, here the complement or the particle is different because here we have the combination of run into and the meaning is meet, and here we have the combination of run away and the meaning is leave home. Así que si usted combina un verbo con diferente partícula o preposition, va a tener significado diferente. Ok? So run away. She ran away. She escaped. She left home when she was 15. Ok? Yeah, or you can say María María ran away when she was 15. When she was, sorry, 14. Oh my God, Maria se fue. Okay, very good. So Maria ran away when she was 14. Is it clear? Everybody? Yes. Yes, teacher. Is it, is it difficult? It's difficult. A little. Yes, I know. I know because we have a lot of combinations. We have a lot of combinations. Les voy a enseñar, eh, for example, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you an example. Para que vean nada más. Ahorita los están conociendo. You are knowing the verbs. No afligidation, all right? <laughs> Yes, that I'm going to show you. Reasons to call in sick. Okay, and we're going to do it here. I, I just want to show you. Okay. Vamos a, vamos a poner aquí phrasal verbs with, a, let me see, break. Yes. And here, we have some phrasal verbs with break. Let me see. Yes. Very good. I'm going to... Let me see if I can do this. Let me see if I can do something. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. and I cannot do it. I have to look here from the. So, 
Pay attention here. Uy. Pay attention here. So here we have the verb break, right? But look at the, at the possible combinations that we can have. Break down, break up, break in, break away, break off, break out, break down again, and break into. So, el verbo base es este, the base verb is this. And if we make a combination with prepositions, with different prepositions, el significado cambia. For example, esto ya lo vimos, ¿verdad? Break up. End up a relationship. Sorry, I'm going to make it bigger. Okay. So we say break up. End a relationship. An example. Clay and Michael broke up. They had been together for two years. Break up. Now, if I say break in, the meaning is force entry. Entrar a la fuerza. For example, el ladrón, the vulgar, broke in through the front door. Okay. Uh, break away, escape from a person. Break out, escape, and, and so on. Okay. So I want to show you this because uh, phrasal verbs are like that. Pero podemos empezar, we can begin learning easy phrasal verbs. Okay, very good. Now, we're going to do a little exercise on the book, and the, and the exercise is, is this. Okay, very good. Now, these are the phrasal verbs. Estos son los phrasal verbs del ejercicio del libro, right? These are the phrasal verbs from the book. So, what I'm going to do is, please take a picture from this, because you're going to work exercise number five. And you will first match the verb with the preposition, okay, or the particle. And after that, you will complete these sentences. All right, very good. So please take a, take a picture. Take a picture. Do you have the picture? Yes. Very good. Okay, you have the picture. Now we're going to go and work. All right, very good. So let me see. I'm going to... Um, okay. So I'm going to give you some minutes so you can go and can work with this. Bye-bye, everybody. We're going to work in pairs. In pairs. Okay? If you have a question, ask me. The lens. My, the my face? Glass. You see my face? Yeah, your face though, now. <laughs> no, it's a, yes. it, it's a ghost. Yes. Oh my God, Erica, what happened? I, the light is turned off. <laughs> oh, you, there was a, a, black, a blackout. Why? A power shortage. I mean, se fue la luz. You had a blackout. Yes, yes. Oh my God! But uh, we 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 almost finish. We almost finish. Yes. <laughs> okay. 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 Number one is fighting up. Fighting up. Yes. Can you? This workshop is very dirty. Less. 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 Clean up. Clean, clean up, yes. Clean up. Okay, the second is switch up. 
The second is switch, switch up, yes. Uh, it clean up. Number two. Uh -huh. yeah. The four, I hope the computer wants. I hope the computer wants. No, one switch. The number four is switch up. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Number four, switch up. up. The five is turn off. The number number five lubricate this machine regularly. They will. Creo. A ver cómo salimos. <ríe> um, cuatro. Entonces la dos sería. Clean up. Clean up. La tres. Clean up. Ok. De ahí está la dos. La, la tres. And the number two. Mm -hmm. Sería. Switch off the power before you remove the machine. You creo que es switch up. Y pero en la otra dice, I have the computer want. Recuerden. Uh -huh. Otra vez, remover tu maquina, maquinaria. Recuerda. Then it's a switch. Switch up. Switch up. The, switch out the power before you remove the machine. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver qué dice. No, la turn up es para hacer. En la la número 3, 3 para mí es switch, switch up. Sí. La 3, switch up. Sí. La 4, I hope the computer want. The col col up. Call what? For me, call up is the uh, number six. The printer just stopped working. We need to call up a technician. Yeah. The number six for me is the number six call up. Mm -hmm. Eh, ¿Cuál en la, en la número 5? 
the number six. The printer just stopped. Uh -huh. Stop working. We need to call up a technician. Stop. Ah, yeah. Ajá, uh -huh. y I see the, the verbs. Yeah, uh, 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 the homework, uh, uh, okay, the homework is, today is a platform, it's a no visit <laughs> platform today. Uh, maybe <laughs> later, <laughs> after class. Okay, I yeah. finished, Tisha. Um, Sorry, I am speaking and I have my microphone muted. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So give me the answer for number two. What's the verb you have? Clean up. Yay, very good. What about for number three? Number three is turn up. Sorry? Tur turn up. Number three? Yes, yeah. uh -huh. I know. Yes, turn up. Are you Are you sure? Yeah. Remember to the power before you remove the machine. Turn up. Turn up. Are Remember. you sure? Can we say? Can we say also? Give Give me a second. Can we say also uh, switch off? off? In my answers, I have number. Uh, I have number three. I have switch off. Uh, if you say switch off and turn off, is is the same. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, two seconds. Did you finish, everybody? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna send you to to work with different people, so you can you can share your answers. Okay. Uh, let me see. Abel, Carmen, Irene, Erika, Victor. Erika, you were working with Victor. Yes. Yes. Ruth, Patricia, you were working with Saida, no, right? Ivit, you were working with Linda, Francisco with her. Okay, so yeah, I will change. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some minutes so you can share your answers, okay? Bye-bye, okay. everybody, share your answers. Okay. Uh, para, uh -huh. maybe, see. Switch off. Yes, switch off. Switch, switch off. Switch off. Uh -huh. 
Porque el otro es cambiar. Number five. Number five is side up. So it's a up. Ajá, uh -huh, it's a number four, say, say it out. Uh, okay. It is six. The six is uh, call up. Uh, okay, see, the printer just stopped working. We need to call out a uh, technician. Yeah. Okay, the fitness teacher. Yes. Excellent, very good. Nice. Okay, let me let me check all the rooms and if they have finished. So we're gonna go back. Okay. Okay. Let me check. No, this one I have already checked it. I will come here. Yes. Hold up. Yes, it's forward. Yes. Okay. Okay. Can you re repeat? Okay. And the answer number two is a uh, clean up. And this workshop is very dirty. Let's clean up this place. Number three. And remember two. Switch off the power before you remove the machine and number yeah. four uh, i hope the computer won't turn off again and number five let me see okay if you don't lubricate this type of machine regularly they will piss up and number six the printer just stop that working. We need to call up. Okay, just uh, let me let me see. There, there is a person that has joined. Carmen Irene Navidad. Carmen Irene Navidad Campos. Okay. So she is present. Then Claudia Lorena Funes Jovel. No. Grecia Ivonne. No. Jose Nel. No. Pineda, sorry. And Gil Sigfredo Norberto Soron Valle. No. Okay. Uh, now, we're going to check the answers. We're going to check the answers. Let me see. Da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, uh. All right. Now, let's see. Okay, we're going to begin with this. Now, what, uh, when we say, what is the, all right. So, tighten up is this, right? What about switch? Switch? Off. 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 What about clean? Up. 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 Okay. What about seize? Up. 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 Turn? Off. Off. Off and call? Up. 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 Snap. Very good. Now, we're going to complete the verbs, the sentences, and number two. This workshop is very dirty. Let's clean up. Clean up. Clean up. <laughs> clean up. Very good. Let's clean up this place. All right. Let's clean up this place. Number two. Remember to. Switch, switch up, switch off. off. Okay, switch, switch off. off. Some of some of you say turn off is the same. Switch off and turn off are synonyms. Okay. Okay. So number four. I hope the computer won't. Turn off. 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 Turn off.
Turn off. Turn off. Turn off. Turn off. Very good. Turn off again. Number five. If you don't lubricate these types of machines regularly, they will... Okay. And number six, the printer just stops working. We need to call up. Call up. Call up. Excellent, call up. everybody. Congratulations. I know this is not something easy, but you're doing a great job. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Now we're going to go to the last activity. We have so many minutes. Oh my God. Okay, we have some minutes to do this because this next activity is very easy, but also you need a little. Okay, so here, before, before going to the next one, um, we have an example, give up. So, analyze la oración, analyze the sentence and look at the, at the possible, and is possible uh, meanings. Okay, I gave up. I gave up smoking last year. I have cancer. So what is the meaning of gave up? In present will be give up. A, I continue doing it. B, I don't like it. Or C, I stopped doing it. So what is the answer? A, B, or C? C. There, C. Yeah. What about, what about the others? What do you think? Uh, letter A. A. Victor says letter A. Yes. But if you have cancer, I mean oh, this. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't. I don't. B. Uh, B. Uh, B. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give you the answer. The answer is letter C. Yes. So uh -huh. the meaning of the phrasal verb. The meaning of the phrasal verb. Give up. Is. Stop doing something. Okay? That is the meaning of give up. Stop doing something. Completely. For example, I'm going to give you one example. My father, my father, uh, my father is very religious. Okay? But before, uh, before he was very religious, my father drank a lot of alcohol. So after that, my father studied the Bible and blah, blah, blah. So my father gave up drinking a long time ago, like 20 or 20 years ago. Okay. Is it clear? Give up? Yes. Gave up? Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to go to the next activity. That is the last one. All right. Let's see if we have, uh, yeah, we have a little time. Okay, so here. So here we have um, something similar to the first exercise. Very good. So we have get over, put off, call off, hold on, come across, look back on, carry on, take place, and look up to. These are the phrasal verbs. Possible meanings. Recollect, cancel, recover, Posponer, postpone, continue, wait, admire, suceder, happen, and find. So what I want you to do, I'm going to give you like six minutes to do it. If you don't finish, don't worry. If you don't finish, remember, when we don't finish something, it goes to the, to the platform. All right? Very good. But we can make an effort to, to do it right now. So please um, take a picture. You have the picture. No. Yes. 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 Okay, very good. So let's go to practice. We're going to practice some minutes. And bye bye, everybody. You're going to work with the same person. Okay, very good.
Let me see. Ok. Ok, ahí. Ya lo compartieron, padre. Ya lo compartieron. En el WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Ok, so. Ok, number one, eh, number one would be get over. For me, for me, it's the number, the number five, continue. Get over, continue. Yes, it's a meaning, it's a meaning, get up, it's a, it's, in Spanish, continue. Continue, uh, huh? Yes, yeah. uh, put up, please, for me, it's a, It's a number four, it's a meaning posponer. Postpone. It's a meaning, yes, a pro is a, is a, a meaning como a way, way to, to, or to do something. It's a, uh -huh, posponer. For me, it's number four. For you? Mm -hmm. Four and the put off. Get put off is uh, number four. Four, four, three. I don't know. Is mm. it's two? Yeah. Okay. It's a number. The cut off for me. For me, it's a cancer. Okay. Cancel la llamada. Yes. The number number two. Oh no. Okay. We can we continue. Cancel. Please. Get over, teacher. Get over, get over. What is get over? Get over is recover. A recover. Hmm? Recovered. Yeah, that is the meaning of get over. Cut. Chicken. Uh... Maybe come across, continue. Everybody, if you didn't finish, remember, you can give me the answers on the platform, but we're gonna do one, one, let me see. So get over, what do you have for get over? Five. Get over? Which Continue. do you think the answer is for get over? Continue. Number three. Continue. Okay, continue is continue is carry on carry on, carry on. Mm -hmm. continue oh. is carry on yeah and, and hold on wait wait exactly okay, we learned that today hold on okay very good now what about call off cancel cancel very good and like that okay very good now Please, if you go to the if you go to the platform, lo que quiero que hagan es así. Por ejemplo, usted me pone get over equals recover. The next one, put off. The meaning is postpone. 
And then you continue with the others, okay? Eso es lo que vamos a hacer. That is what we're going to do on the platform. Okay. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. And tomorrow, al principio de la clase, lo podemos revisar entre todos, all right? But I need you to post this on the platform. Okay, okay thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for another class, a very good thank one, you. because you are great thank students. You. Have Thank a good you. night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.